Today is Bob Pink with Pink Packaging. Today we're going to talk about cold chain management. And what that means is if you have a product like, uh, you know, let's just say it's going to be this little frozen dinner that you're going to sell online. You've, cold chain management means that this frozen dinner has to stay frozen, or let's say to 32 degrees. Um, and it's going to leave San Diego and arrive in Philadelphia in the middle of summer. It's about 110 degrees and humid. How does it get there at 72 degrees? And what if you ship it overnight? Well, what if you didn't want to spend overnight shipping? Well, let's say you want to ship it in three days and still keep it frozen. Uh, it's for food, for pharmaceutical, or just everyday stuff that needs to get there chilled. That's cold chain management, and it's complicated, but we're gonna try and simplify it a little bit for you by going over the different types of coolers that are used, and then how we uh, go about solving the problem for you. So, um, the first type of cooler that we would use to ship this, let's say it's just gonna go uh, one day ground. So, the least expensive way is, and you can run short runs on this, this is called a six piece foam set which is basically six pieces of one inch or two inch EPS foam. They're cut to fit into like a stock box. So you can order 50 stock boxes and then order 50 sets. And this insulation factor is good if you're gonna ship your frozen food overnight, you know? And you're gonna put a couple of nice ice cold gel packs in there and you don't need to, you don't wanna customize it. You're not gonna do a big run. Inexpensive compared to all the other options you have. So you would finish this little six piece foam set up by dropping these in here and you drop the other one in and voila if you look inside there you've got your cooler built right inside of a stock box so you throw your food inside or your you throw your ice packs you fill it with bubble or peanuts you close your lid on top and away you go relatively inexpensive way to do it, right? Let's say you wanted a little bit nicer way to do it. You can go to, I have a large one here, but companies will make molds and they'll have, you know, they'll build 10,000 of these at a time and they'll sell them to maybe 30 different companies, this specific size because it fits nice on a pallet. So you can basically buy these from the stock markets and we can provide these for you and then customize the inside. Let me give you an idea. Let's say that you're shipping this with dry ice. Um, the dry ice slowly disappears, which leaves a gap in there. So the product that is being tumbled around by UPS or FedEx uh, is going to all of a sudden want to start moving. So you have to develop inserts and things to hold the product in place as the dry ice disappears. Same thing with the gel packs. But these are molded EPS coolers made by gigantic tools. If you try to make one of these yourself, it's, you know, it's like a $30,000 tool. So um, unless you're doing a big run, this isn't gonna make sense. You go back to the six panel cooler or find ones that already are made and we can help you out with that. But let's say you wanna take it to the next step and you wanna go to ship to Europe, ship to Japan. Then you have to have a better insulation, better R factor in your foam. Then you're gonna to go to something like this, which is an expanded polyurethane, okay? And this, if you look inside here, is, is our, you can either make it stock sizes that are available through our supplier, uh, corrugated insert, you can see it's two inches thick, so it's gonna give you the best insulation factor. So normally this is used with dry ice, and they'll, they'll keep stuff under you know 32 degrees for three days based on the zones you're shipping, how far away it's going, temperature different times of the year and they always put plugs in here like this these these um polyurethane plugs polyethylene plugs they allow the dry ice gas to escape so you put your product in here you put the dry ice you put the plug in tape it up you know and away you go uh this is the most expensive this could be a 35 dollar box so you better be shipping you know thousand dollars worth of pharmaceuticals in here or this isn't really going to make a whole lot of dollars and cents um anyway those are the three main ways to do shipping for cold you know six the six piece folder cooler that you would make yourself then you go to eps molded coolers and then the polyurethanes which are the most expensive but give you the best installation value uh, Call us, we can help design it, figure out which way is the best way for you to go.